Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, That I Would Be Good. My name is Kelly and today I'm going to show you my morning energy routine. What I will typically use is sage or um, some palo santo. Use a smudge stick of sage or whatever uh, one suits you best. What I've got here is this shell. I don't remember what the name of the shell is. I always think puka shell because it was from the, it's not, that's not what the term is. And the point of burning this is that it will transmute negative energy. So it will it's not just like it's helping it dissipate, it's just cleared completely. So we're transmuting the negative energy. So when you've got the smudging, you just leave it around yourself. I do figure eights. And you can say positive affirmations while you're doing this to start your day. Talk about the type of day that you're going to be having, the kind of day that you'd like to have, but talk about it as though that's definitely what's going to be happening. This is the Palo Santo. So, so intriguing. What we want to do is we're opening up our chakras. We're getting the day started. We're getting the energy flowing. We're inviting wisdom and light from the divine into our being through our crown chakra. So that needs to be open. So first we're going to raise our arms up. Like look, we're in the shape of a nice martini glass, right? So we are looking up to heaven or the universe and we are ready to receive the light and wisdom from the divine this day to us. And if you close your eyes, you can imagine just the beams of light what it would look like to be receiving that wisdom and light from the divine in through your crown chakra and into your being. Next step is we want to focus on and bring attention to each of the chakras. The first one is actually the root chakra spot. But this routine, we are inviting wisdom and light from source to come down through our chakra system and then the information and wisdom from the earth comes up through our feet and into our being and up through our crown. That's a different video. So you can use whatever hand configuration works best for you. I like triangles. I just like kind of putting my hands together like this and then I use my thumbs to touch the point where the chakra point is and on the crown chakra it's where your soft spot was that's the opening for wisdom and light from the divine to come into your being through your that little soft spot on your so um, you can say uh, different things as simple as I know my truth or the time depending on how much time you have and how much wordage you want to invest um, and this can all be done in thought as well you can say other things like, my crown chakra is open. And you can make motions symbolizing that you're understanding that your crown chakra is opening. And it actually resides just above. And so you can work with it in that area. I know my truth. And then you move to the next chakra down, your third eye chakra, which is if you put your finger right in the little dent that's in the middle of your forehead, that's where your crown chakra <clears throat> enter and exit. And you can say things like, my third eye chakra is open. I am able to see the needs of those around me and able to intuitively know how to help them. My third eye chakra is open and I see my truth. So the next one is the throat chakra. And you would say, I speak my truth. My throat chakra is open. I am able to speak freely. I'm able to speak effectively, concisely. My throat chakra is open. I speak my truth. And then into the heart chakra, right in between the breastbone, just focusing energy on that center there. So you'd say, I feel my truth. 
My heart chakra is open. I'm open to caring and loving for those around me. I'm open to providing the needs for those around me. And I do that because my heart chakra is open and I feel my truth. And then you'd kind of move into the next one, which is your solar plexus chakra. Uh, just right kind of in between, just right in there. And you'd say, I act on my truth. My solar plexus chakra is open. I'm able to act on the things that I need to in my life. I'm motivated and driven because my solar plexus chakra is open and I act on my truth. And then the next one is our sacral chakra which is right just kind of down in the womb area for the ladies. So you just place your hands here and say, I take pleasure in my truth. I have passion and drive and motivation and creativity and take pleasure in those things because my sacral chakra is open and I take pleasure in my truth. Okay, so now there's one left and that's our root chakra and it's actually at the base of our tailbone so where i will hold my hands here for the sacral chakra when it's time to move to the root chakra i move my hands backward and just my fingertips near the base of the spine where the root chakra would begin and then it actually flows down your legs and terminates out your feet into connect with the earth or gaia so i'll place my hands here and say, I'm grounded in my truth. And as I do that, I, I'm grounded. So I'm stepping my feet down into the floor, trying to get down as close as I can to the earth, okay? So I'm grounded in my truth. My root chakra is open. I'm one with the earth. I'm connected. I'm grounded. I'm whole because my root chakra is open and I'm grounded in my truth. Okay, so now that I've got all the chakras done, I do what's called chakra threading, where I just move my hands and I'm just making like figure eight motions and I'm just connecting the energy all through the chakras. Because if you think about our personal energy fields, our personal energy fields are like the electrical circuit that keeps our body going. And so the chakras are like the mini computer fans all throughout our amazingly high-tech computer systems that is our physical makeup in this physical realm. And so we're threading the chakras together and feeling that energy flowing and we're ready for the day. We've connected with heaven, with the universe, with the divine to invite wisdom, light and knowledge into our being and through our crown chakra, gone all the way down through, terminating with being grounded and ready for the day. So all in all, all the explanation aside, it should only take a couple of minutes. You can take as much as you want or as little as you have time for. You could also incorporate a period of meditating after or before, whichever feels intuitively best for you. So these things are going to help you in the healing process because all of the healing needs to happen on an energetic level. All the trauma that we've had in our lives stays recorded in our energetic field, like a blueprint of everything that happened to us in our lives. The trauma and pain remains there. Like if you imagine the energetic field as a really, really thin, gauzy fabric that just snagged so easily. And every time there was something negative or trauma, it caused a snag in that fabric. And you know when you snag, you can never get it fully back in properly. So what needs to happen is that trauma that is stuck there as a snag in your energetic field needs to be transmuted. The energy, the negative energy that's held there in your energetic field, your record of your life needs to be dissipated completely. It needs to be cleared. There's hundreds and hundreds of different healing modalities to attack each one of these traumas that need to be dealt with. And I'm gonna be uh, going into those further in the upcoming videos discussing my favorite healing modalities. I already discussed one, which was the most, very most important one, which is awareness. And that basically is summed up as, you don't know something until you know it. And so you can't feel bad about things that you didn't know yet. Your behaviors that you carry with you throughout your life were formed way before you had the conscious choice to choose who you wanted to be.
And so as we come into our older years and we're recognizing that there are things that need to be healed and dealt with, this is the time for us to take this challenge upon ourselves and to recognize that we're not meant to be stagnant. We're not meant to continue to live with the traumas from our past. And so I hope that you take the opportunity to incorporate some form of morning energy routine to get your day going and get yourself ready energetically to have a fabulous, wonderful, amazing day. So grateful that you guys took time to watch that and that you stick with me on this channel. I'm grateful for it. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to my channel and fully by tapping on the bell so you get all the notifications. And I will talk to you guys soon. You guys take care.